We are at beautiful Devil's Lake State Park. Devil's Lake is an endemic lake. There are no outflows out of the lake, but they do stake the lake, uh, stock the lake with trout and, well, not trout, with bass. So there's plenty of bass in the lake. And a lot of people do fish here. But for a more interesting story, let's just make something up about Devil's Lake. Legend has it that an ancient demon fell into the lake and still has some of its demonic vibes within this place and where elder devils come in and try to raid the earth and you need a pure-hearted and holy paladin such as myself to cleanse the place every once in a while um, in order to actually uh, maintain peace on earth. Today we're not here for the cleansing because I did that yesterday but we're going to see some of the features of this ancient and perhaps demonic lake. This is actually a park with quite a lot of amenities. Uh, you know, picnic tables, got a lake over there, even mountains, hills, a lot of hiking trails if you're gonna go on. This is going to be the hour, several hour long hiking trail loop. Hopefully I have enough batteries, but unfortunately all of the uh, water fountains are actually off limits because of COVID. So I am in a bit of a thirsty mood right now, unfortunately not optimal but we are going to go find the hiking trail and hike up this beautiful scenic devil's lake the devil's lake trek actually starts across the train tracks and uh, we go down the first part of the trek is actually not a climb but we go into these lovely little forests after we cross the train tracks of doom and we actually kind of just go on a very very um even trek until we get to starting the climb now devil's lake is not a hard climb it actually has a pretty good staircase it's several ups and downs it takes probably two to three hours to do come uh if you want to do the whole trail and a lot of this is part of the ice age trail which is a thousand mile trail around the state of wisconsin the ice age trail is not a connected trail uh, it is several segmented parts and there are several parts around where I live in southern Wisconsin but we're just going through this awesome little forest here you can actually take the rock route up but since my Achilles is a little bit hurting right now I'm not going to take the rock route and plus I would actually have to have the chest mount for this GoPro if I was going to take the rock route up since I'm holding the camera up we're just going to take the easier route just the step route but you know it is a very good exercise because it is several hours of a hike so I don't have any water I might actually eventually be dehydrated, but it's okay. It's not too bad. It's not very hot today, so I can probably just, after this, I can just probably hop on the car, go home, drink a couple of cups of water, and I'd be good. So here we go. The uh, trail at Devil's Lake State Park. And uh, we're gonna see part of the rock face here in a minute. Um, and really this rock face you can easily climb up this rock. Well, it's not that easy, but it's not that difficult either if you really want to climb up the rock face. There is a rocks trail, which we'll do in a later video. But for right now, we're not gonna do the rocks trail. We are just going to do the regular two, three hour hiking trail. And don't worry, this video isn't gonna be that long, so I'm only gonna cut out uh, parts of the video. But I just want you to see the rock face here because it is, you know, like, if you look at the rock face, like you can actually go up that. It's probably like something like something like a class two climb. I've seen people climb it before. I've done part of it myself. Uh, I've never gone all the way up on the rock face, uh, but this particular rock face here, you can actually go up that. Uh, I think you can at least get like halfway up the mountain. There's some people up there right now, so it's not that difficult. You just have to watch for falling rocks if you do it. But we're not gonna take that. We're gonna take the regular route. This is the start of the climb the devil's arch and the devil's doorway it's pretty mild actually i mean there's only a few really big steps but it is a good 20 25 minute trek to the top of steadily climbing stairways like this so it does burn those calories if you had an extra large pizza or you're feeling really fat or something it's definitely a good trek to the top definitely not recommended for those of you who have knee problems but a very good trek otherwise very good exercising trick burn a couple hundred calories and then eat a large burrito when you get back great trek for devil's lake 
This is the first scenic viewpoint on the trail. We're only about five minutes up. It's really not that much of a climb. It's not very tiring at all. Although I see many people who are first timers hiking and puffing around this time. They really haven't been on any real climbs because this is nothing compared to the uh, routes either out east in the Adirondacks and the Appalachians or out west in the Rockies, definitely. But uh, it's a nice like morning exercise. Can burn off that breakfast burrito you just eaten. And remember, this is the only the part one of the Demon's Challenge if you wish to defeat it in mortal combat and save the realm at Devil's Lake. This is another view on the other side. Pristine, I think those are boreal and conifer forests out there. This looks great in the fall, by the way, and it's a scenic view of light and late autumn in the fall. I think it's usually around late October that the colors really, really light up, but it's still a very nice view in the summer. That is Devil's Doorway, the lapsed obstacle for the demons before they can attack Earthrealm. I'm actually getting my mythology from Mortal Kombat and Warcraft 3 mixed up, but it doesn't matter because I'm just making this whole thing up anyways. That is Devil's Doorway, and uh, we're gonna go in it because there's some pretty large steps in Devil's Doorway. Might be the most interesting part of the hike actually because I'm not actually going under the arch this time around. Been to this park multiple times. Staple spot for both fishing, hiking, and other adventuring. But we are just kind of like in the doorway right now. It's the corridor. The steps are actually quite a bit bigger than the doorway. You might hear a bit of an echo because it's pretty close corridors, but it's not really too bad unless you're like a little kid. You'll be able to make it up the steps just perfectly fine. And of course, we are out of Devil's Doorway now. Look at the scenery down there. It's quite nice, quite nice. But we just got out of the Devil's Doorway, the last step before the monsters can attack Earthrealm. Finally, we are at the top of the climb. Now, there's a couple more steps up over there, obviously, but generally this is a junction because Devil's Lake Trail is part of the Ice Age Trail. And you can see going that way, that is the Ice Age Trail and the Potholes Trail in the East Bluff. However, we're going to go that way into some of the more cooler rock formations at Devil's Lake. Remember, this is the pinnacle where the demons, after they come through the dark portals, stage their armies to attack the realm of Earth. And we must engage them in mortal combat to actually defend our world. So this is uh, the top of Devil Lake Bluff, and there'll be some really scenic views from here. This is the scen full scenic view at the top of the bluff. The full scenic view of everything and the lake. The forest, the lake, the landscape, everything. It's at a place like this where the demon will ask you to submit to him for the conquest of the world. And you must, uh, you must kind of forego the temptation and say no to the demon and then engage him in mortal combat to defend the world beautiful, beautiful scenic view at the top of Devil's Lake State Park. There it is, Devil's Doorway, or to the knowing, the dark portal. That's where they all come through and gather on a cloudy, moonless night. And that's where we have to make our stand. Devil's Doorway, the ancient dark portal for demons. This is um, just the uh, scenic route at the top of Devil's Lake. It's just the scenic route at the top of Devil's Lake. There's a lot of people hiking here now, uh, more than usual. I think people just don't like being trapped all day inside. And also, it's an extremely nice day outside. So you'll see, excuse me, my bad. many, many people, uh, many, many people uh, actually coming out and hiking this trail run into quite a few people just like that there at the top. Beautiful, beautiful scenic views of the lake on the left and uh, we'll see one right now. I think it's sort of blocked by a tree but we have a place where you can actually get a scenic view of the lake and this is just hiking at the top of the bluff. There's actually a lot of ups and downs uh, as you saw on the video earlier. You saw Devil's Doorway and some of the rock formations but we're gonna see a little bit more of the lake now because there is 
a great view down here, which we will actually take advantage of. The water is really, really nice right now. Um, algal blooms have not occurred. It's too early in the year, so it smells really great down here. And there's a couple of people fishing in the water down below. I would not step too close to the ledge because you don't want to die, but that's a great, great view of the lake. So on we go with our hike. So uh, the ups and downs of Devil's Lake hiking have led us to another scenic lookout on an outcrop of rock. I think if you're going to go scar uh, stargazing at Devil's Lake, you don't want to do it at the absolute top of the bluff because it's dark there and you don't want to like fall to your death or have the demons devour your soul. You can actually come over here and get quite a scenic look as well. This is on the way down. You might actually want to take the West Bluff route if you're uh, coming up on this scenic route, because I do think that way up the West Bluff is significantly easier than the East Bluff at night. The East Bluff can actually be kind of dangerous at night if you want to come up East Bluff. This view is somewhat muddled by trees, but you can still see, I think, the South Shore over there. So still a very nice scenic view of Devil's Lake. And you can see the, like the plains and the hills far beyond in Baraboo and Wisconsin Dells. So another good scenic lookout place at Devil's Lake on the way down on the East Bluff Trail. This is one of my favorite scenic viewpoints at Devil's Lake. Actually, it's only a short uh, while up if you take the West Bluff on the other side from South Shore, but very long if you take the East Bluff, a full view of Devil's Lake beautiful on today. We are heading downward through the forest. It's just a lovely forest all the way down basically. And uh, I can see the sunlight just shining through. It's a beautiful day. Many, many people on the trail today. And um, a lot of uh, fauna in the woodland forest. A lot of deer here, although I haven't seen any today. But just a really nice winding path down. Good to get some exercise. A lot of pe people here at Devil's Lake, this is probably one of the most popular parks in the state and one of the biggest. So uh, going down the, the hill at Devil's Lake State Park right now. We are on the uh, opposite shore of Devil's Lake now from where we started. And it's a sandy beach, a lot of people sunbathing here. This is a boat rental place, but it's kind of closed right now because of COVID. But you can see a beautiful landscape view of the lake. I will have a panoramic view available on goodfreephotos.com. But lovely, lovely view of Devil's Lake. Also not a bad place to shoot some stars towards the other end of the lake at night. This is the first part of the Tumbled Rocks Trail. It, all, it goes along the entire side of the lake. There's a couple of people fishing there, as you can see, um, on the rocks. And it's kind of a darkened part of the trail. It's by the trees, so we're completely in the shadow of the hill right now. That's why it's a little bit dark, but it is still a lovely day outside. When we get to the center of this part of the trail, there won't be many trees there, and it'll just be rocks. And we're coming more to that part of the trail now, where it's actually a clearing. A lot of light shining through. We're facing like the light of the sun, so the view isn't really that great right now. But I actually uh, do astrophotography here quite a lot during late summer. Um, I've gotten several pictures on there at goodfreephotos.com and what I do is I actually look up at the hill and there's some really good star shots that you can actually get there. If you want to get the star spin you have to point directly north 
and basically that is basically pointing in the opposite direction but right now the the view from the opposite side of the lake is very very nice on this nice day as we get to the more rocky part there's going to be more people standing on the rocks and fishing because this is actually a pretty good fishing spot i believe devil's lake actually has a decent amount of bass and panfish as well um, at least that's what all the fishermen say so a good fishing spot good relaxing spot and also a good hiking spot you can also take the alternative route up the hill or even climb up the uh, tumbled rocks but um you know a couple of people walking their dog but this is just a lovely spot uh, to go for the weekend um especially you know like there's a lot of people everyone's still obeying like social distancing regulations at this point but very very nice hike at this part of devil's lake around the tumbled rocks trail very very beautiful trail indeed this is the rocky section of the tumbled rocks trail this is actually a fun climb up <clears throat> i've actually done this climb up a couple of times and you can hop pretty high along the rocks this one isn't as high as the rocks trail on the other side you don't have to climb as far but it's actually pretty good practice i'm not going to do that today because i have the gopro and everything on me but I will actually do a rock climb, a rocky climb sometime as soon as my Achilles heals a little bit more because it's actually kind of a fun thing to do uh, over the weekend. Um, so yeah, a little bit of a harder trail if you take the rock climb. Also a great place like right here would be a good, good spot to actually take a photo of uh, stars pointing up at the hill. But really nice middle section of the tumbled rocks trail and um, just an overall really nice spot to like chill out for the weekend. Really cool. Now we come to the end of the lake loop. We are standing on a dock overlooking Devil's Lake. Our um, car is only a couple hundred feet up, but we're just looking at one last grand view of Devil's Lake. There's a couple people rowing canoes and we have a lovely, lovely pan over the scenery at Devil's Lake State Park. One of the highest rated parks in the state. It is a little crowded usually, but still a great place to spend a good weekend. 